Hi guys, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, we are going to walk through how to apply for a study visa to study in Armenia. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go and subscribe right now. So guys, every country has its own rules, regulations when it comes to visa. So first of all, you need to see that based on your nationality, duration and uh, purpose, you really need a visa or not. And if you need, you need to apply through the official channels and you should use the information that is available on the mission, embassy, consulate, whichever is covering your location. All right. So when it comes to apply for a study visa to Armenia, OK, let's say you want to do long, uh, long term study, OK, maybe two years, three years. So embassy and consulate for Armenia, they cannot issue long term visas like what you need to do is like to, you need to go there on a visitor visa for study. They have a visitor visa for study and then you can apply for residence permit. Now, in order to do that, of course, like you need to get admission to a university, you need to fill up the you need to meet the requirements, finance, accommodation, insurance and all these things you should have right technically in order uh, for them to grant you uh, the visa. So we'll, we'll begin with this e-visa process in this video and then uh, residence permit. If I find any reliable resources in future that I'll provide it to you. So this is here. This is the official e-visa site. You can apply at the embassy also, but this is easier where you can do everything online. So let's say you are uh, traveling on ordinary passport and you are having passport from India. And one more thing, guys, like neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So take anything out of this video, do it at your own risk. OK, guys, so I'm going to fill up these two and then what's going to happen? I'm going to get an email with the link to proceed further and that I'm going to post it here and we'll take out the email and then I have then the data I put here is sample. OK, this doesn't belong to any uh, living or uh, other person. This is just sample. OK, so you see like. What are the things they have asked and supported document, air ticket, hotel reservation, medical insurance? Whatever you have, OK. As per your case and data is also very minimum. They have asked here. OK, fine. Then we go to the next stage. Now here, if you select study education, you have long term up to 120 days and you have short term. Up to 21 days fee, you can see it varies. And then when you go to the next, you confirm the data and the next where you make the payment. And if it is granted, you can go there and apply for your residence permit. Again, that university or college role will come into this picture. They have to accept you and they have to apply for your uh, other things. So that's how it was, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.